Good morning and welcome to Southern Minnesota. I am near one of our wind farms that uh, kind of spread across this part of the state. I know there's a lot of talk lately in the news about wind and cold weather and issues. Um, looks like these windmills are working just fine. Now, I don't want to minimize the suffering and the tragic loss of life that's happened in Texas. You know, I know they're going through some real troubles right now and, and my heart goes out to them. And, uh, so this isn't meant to be a, a dismissal of their suffering and pain. It's five degrees out here right now and snowing and I understand it's not pleasant. So uh, I hope by the time this airs that uh, you all have power again and uh, things are looking back up. But a lot of the blame in the media has been on wind power and the fact that renewables uh, lost some of their capacity. And so naturally I have a lot of Facebook friends who you know, want to send that kind of stuff to me and say, see, see? So I did some reading, which is not that hard to do. And uh, the publications I'm seeing from Texas are saying that the biggest failures uh, with their grid system is that it's not part of the national grid and the natural gas lines aren't winterized. And so when this cold snap hit, those lines froze up. When they lost electricity, they couldn't pump more gas. So it kind of became a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. So I've had people sending me things about how uh, you know wind you know, power failed and some of their wind system did fail, but I've also heard that that also wasn't winterized to handle those kind of temperatures. Uh, so I think it's more about how things were built, uh, whether that was a lack of regulations or lack of people following regulations because they thought it would never get that cold there or what the problem is. But uh, people were also sending me uh, images of uh, snow covered solar panels and uh, yeah, that's a, that's a problem, but just driving out here as it's snowing, as it's been bitterly cold, it's also been super sunny lately. And I just passed a solar field I didn't know it was going to pass. They were all clear. And, you know, the implication was that, you know, once they're covered with snow, there's nothing you can do. Well, obviously you can go out and clear them off. Uh, it doesn't make the sun shine any brighter, but it gets light to those panels. About that same time, there was an oil spill near San Francisco. And so I'm seeing that at the same time I'm seeing these covered up solar panels and I'm thinking, which one's easier to clean up? Obviously, getting oil out of the sea is a lot harder than going off and wiping off some solar panels. Even in this kind of cold, if you dress for it, it's not that big of a deal. So renewables do still work in the winter if you plan for it and build for it. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to drive down in here. It has been bitterly cold. I think it was uh, minus 17 yesterday with the wind chill that puts it in, you know, 30 below zero Fahrenheit temperatures. This stuff was still working in it and generating electricity. So it can be done. And I would suggest that I always do a little research and digging when people make broad claims. Um, Texas has its own unique problems. I don't know all the intricacies of it, but the issues they're having are not the fault of renewables, at least not solely and not the way they could be implemented. Again, I want to say that I'm terribly sorry for the people who are out of power down there. It is uh, terrible. We had our furnace go out uh, a couple weeks ago when this uh, cold snap hit, and it was a scramble trying to get someone to come and repair it and uh, making contingency plans about where we could go or you know how we could bundle up within the house to uh, make it through. So. I get it and I'm terribly sorry for your hardship and uh, the problems that you're facing. Let's just all try to keep an open mind and help each other out. 
So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Well, I'm stopped here by the windmills. I also want to point out that I drove down here in an electric car. And I'm going to stop and charge down in Albert Lee. But uh, very easy, no big deal to do this trip. Uh, to come down here and see this. So, um, using electricity to go check out electricity infrastructure. I'll catch you later.